So my jars are all hot and ready to go. So I'm just gonna run through filling some of these jars. Um, I just have like a kitchen towel to grab my hot jars out because they are very hot. I definitely want them to be hot to the touch. So I'm just careful with them. And I just set them here um, in my clean area. Just be careful by your, by your stove, especially if you have a gas stove like mine. Um, just put your funnel in your jar. And I do stir my salsa frequently. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill my jar. And just pay attention to your head space, um, how far up you need to fill your jar, whether it's gonna be a one inch head space, half inch head space, and so forth. Um, my recipe calls for about an inch head space. That's maybe just a little bit over that. And I think the other important thing, this is a wet rag, is you want to just make sure to wipe your your lid, um, especially if you're doing jams or jellies, but that kind of has that sticky residue. Um, I wipe several times and then just make sure that's clear. Again, I just keep everything clean. And um, I love this little wand, uh, magnetic wand. So I just pick up my hot lid. I try not to touch the underneath um, and just place that in place. And same thing, you can grab your, your hot rings too. Um, and then just kind of gently put those on. And I just do that till that's finger tight. And because my jar is so hot, um, I just kind of hold it there. And then I want to put that hot jar right into my hot um, water bath. But again, it's not, it's not boiling, it's just hot so that this jar won't crack. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of keep that on and then just repeat the process. Take out my next jar. I've already checked all these before I put them in the dishwasher. Um, you definitely want them sterile. And they do say that you can just run them through the dishwasher now. So I like to give my um, salsa a stir just because some of that, the thick contents will settle to the bottom. Um, and again, I'm not laying this anywhere. I'm kind of keeping it clean. So I'll just kind of scoop out my salsa again. Put it in my hot jar. And I think pint jars work really well for salsa. I know some people will put them in into quarts, but for me it seems like I use uh, mostly pints. And if you have some kind of occasion where you need more, you can just open up two pints, but um, your water bath time will just be different for quarts versus pints. So I always just keep that in mind. You kind of just pay attention to your um, your recommendations and also where your altitude is. You kind of have to adjust your water bathing uh, recipe based on your altitude. So I always encourage people to just kind of watch um, watch for those kind of specific things because that can make a difference. And again, that's just finger tight. And I just take that jar and, and try to carry it straight. You don't want to be tipping it from side to side. Um, because if you didn't quite get that lid on you can have trouble with some of the ingredients getting up, up under that ring and then you can possibly um, affect your seal and I'm just going to keep doing that until I have my canner full